and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Anything else? What did Barry want? More cream to go on his scone. More? Yeah, that's Barry for you. <laughs> Heart attack waiting to happen. Yeah, it's about four sugars in his tea. Anyway, Em, you were saying? Huh? Uh, a chainsaw? Oh, yeah. Oh. Once we'd persuaded Will we weren't about to buy a pile of rubbish, we put in a bid on a nice 14-inch top handle one. <laughs> Sounds very technical. Oh, not really. It's about as technical as I go, though, at the moment. <laughs> well, that's what the course is for, isn't yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. When does the auction end? Uh, Friday morning. Fingers crossed, then. Yeah. <laughs> so it's getting really real now. Mm. How are you feeling? <laughs> I am so excited, Fallon. <laughs> it's great. It's like a whole new world opening up. Mm. And I'm loving working so closely with Ed. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I've always helped out with his books, you know, with the textiles and record keeping and stuff. Yeah. But it was always me helping him with his work. Mm. This is our business, our work. Equal partners. Yeah, which is great. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot to be done before you go on the course. There's a lot of stuff to buy, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I want to be fully involved with that. Well, it looks like you are. Yeah, but I won't let it get in the way of my hours here. I've got to come back to take my GCSE while I'm doing the course, so uh -huh. I can't juggle all that with the tea room too. Uh, already quit the ball. No, you said. But once I finish the course, I'll still be available for shift. I mean, it'll take a while before we build up enough tree work for two full-timers. Wow, inevitably. Although any aerial jobs will need the both of us because of safety. Sounds as if it might be a bit tricky to schedule shifts here. Oh, no, I'll, I'll make sure I give you plenty of notice. But while you're away, I will need to cover all of your hours. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, you will. Uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to sort it all out. Oh, great. Oh, but having said all that, have you remembered it's my regular day off tomorrow? Are you and Ed still going over to see Jamie Perks? Yeah, he's working near Lebre. <gasps> it's handy, knowing a real live tree surgeon. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be dead interesting. Uh, and it's all under control. Natasha's doing your shift. Oh, good. How's the strength training going? Have you got muscles like a Canadian lumberjack yet? <laughs> well, I wish I'd started it years ago. Oh. I thought, like, weightlifting and that. You see the women that do it. That sort of look. And really me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but the training is just making me feel so alive. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And one of the best things about it is... You can actually see the progress you're making. Lifting heavier and heavier weights? Yeah, and in the way I look too. It does seem to be suiting you. I bet it's going down well with Ed too. Oh well, yeah, that's an unexpected side benefit. <laughs> Good for you. Well, I'm not saying it ain't hard work. Well, no. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. <laughs> but Chris has been such a help. He brought his weights and bench and set it all up in a barn across the yard. Perfect. Yeah. And he's been coming over to coach me. Huh. He's such a good brother. Good friend, too. Hmm? Harrison and I are really looking forward to our stay. You what? At Great Gables. You know, the, the prize that Chris won? Oh, at the Easter egg race. It was so nice of him to pass it on to us. So you're going to be having a night at Great Gables free of charge? We can't wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you can't. No, it's just a quickie, it's really. It's fine, Harrison. I'm winding down at work. I'll be leaving any minute. Oh, good, good. Um, well, all it is, is I wanted to check that you're coming to next tonight. Yeah, I'll be there. Seven o'clock, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But actually, Anna, I, I was going to ask him, can you come see, well, ten minutes early? Uh, yeah? Yeah, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Okay. What is it you want to discuss? Oh, hey, I'm sorry, I've, I've got another call coming in. Oh, right, well, I'll see you there. All right, ta thanks, love, ta -ra. Hello. 
Harrison, it's George. Oh, hi, a bit. You left a voicemail? Yeah. I mean, voicemails are so like 1985. Right. Well, uh, thanks for calling back, anyway. You said it's about nets? Yeah. I, I was wondering uh, if you could get there a bit earlier. How much earlier? <laughs> uh, uh, about 10 to 7. Well, Dad and me are coming together, but I expect that should be all right. Oh, great. Smashing. Thanks. Yeah, there's uh, something I want to discuss with you. Hi again, Harrison. See you then. I thought I saw you coming in. Oh, yeah? What's your day been like? I've been separating the ewes and the lambs with Ed. Oh, yeah. He said he was going to ask you. All done? For today, at least. There's a few left to do. OK. I was just on my way out when I saw you in your trackies. <laughs> what of it? Well, go on, then, Mum. Show us your bench press. It's not a spectator <laughs> sport. Yes, it is. Well, it's not the way I do it. What, a few lap pull-downs? Don't push your luck. <laughs> anyway, I'm still not very pleased with you, George Grenday. Why? What have I done? You know very well what you've done. That video, taking the mickey out your nana. Grandpa writes the scripts and does the voice, not me. And you record and edit it and you put the video online. Details, mother. And don't you worry about your grandpa. He is also in my bad books. Well, like we told Nana, it's just a bit of fun. Mm. And I'm making it up to her, aren't I? I'm, I'm going to edit her shop videos, which are kind of lame. Yeah, well, that's the least you can do. Sorry, I'm a bit late. All right, George. Oh, hi, Uncle Chris. I've only just got back myself. I had to drop Martha off with Dad and he wanted to talk about the May Day Peel. You've got Martha tonight. Oh, it's OK. I'll pick her up and take her back to mine after Nets. Bit complicated, isn't it? Yeah, Chris. If you're training with me and then you've got Nets, wouldn't it be easier for Alice to have her tonight? Uh, well, maybe, but it was my turn. I haven't seen her since the weekend and I just wanted to be sure she was all right. Why shouldn't she be? Um, no reason. I've got to run, if you're not going to give us a demonstration. George, I've told you. <laughs> I need to G Dad up. Harrison wants me early at Nets tonight. Right. See you there, Chris. All right. Bye. OK, we better crack on then. No, I've got a bone to pick with you first. Have you? Yeah, what's all this about you giving your Grey Gable stay to Fallon and Harrison? Oh. Didn't you think Ed and me might have liked first refusal? Yeah. They've got loads more money than we have. I'm sure they could afford to pay for a night in a hotel if they want. Um, I did. Pardon? I was going to say, you guys could have it until Ed explained how you feel about Grey Gables. How we feel? Because of not getting work there. Wouldn't touch the place with a barge pole, blah, blah, blah. He said that? Well, not as such, but that's the impression I got. So you didn't even offer it to him? No. I don't believe it. I didn't think you'd want it. Why not? Because, as I just yeah, said... Yeah, right. I might moan about the place. I moan about fast cars on the road. Didn't mean I'd turn down a Ferrari. Right, sorry. Oh, Ed and his big mouth. I will kill him. Oh, th well, thanks for coming here early. No problem. What was it you wanted to discuss? Oh, hey, just a minute. Um, hey, over here, George, lad. Come in. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get George involved as well. Harrison, if this is about last week... Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing like that. What's she doing here? Oh, good evening to you, too. <laughs> I was just explaining to Anna I wanted to get the two of you together so I could uh, pick your brains. What, the two of us? Yeah. Well, you're both fairly new to the team and you're not setting your ways like some of the old, old stages, are you? Um... Guess not, no. We've got a big match to kick off the season, and, well, I'd, I'd welcome your thoughts, you know. But games against Darrington are always tough. So I've heard. Yeah, it's like Spurs Arsenal, Rangers Celtic, England Australia, you know. The danger is that people can build up these needle matches to ridiculous levels in the mind. Then they push themselves too much and choke. Hmm, hmm. Would you say that's true, George? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, good. So... I think my message to the team should be to play with poise and control. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds good. Mm, great. So in terms of batting order, I'm probably going to have Adam and Tom opening, uh, you at number three, George, and uh, Chris at four. Great, thanks. And uh, and obviously, I know you, you'll be fairly well down the order. Oh, no sweat. Put me in at 11, I don't mind. <laughs> great. But, but you're a, a useful medium pacer, so I'll make sure you get some early time with the ball. Are you, you're happy with that, both of you? 100%. Yeah, it means we'll be playing to our strengths. Good, good. So, to reinforce that, tonight uh, I want you to do some drills together. Mainly you bowl into George, Anna, but um, spend some time the other way around as well. OK. Um, well... That's not a problem, is it? No. No problem. Great! Should be a good session. Oh, 
All right, it's your turn to bowl to Hannah now, George. Certainly is. Which means you're both on your B game. We'll see about that, Chris. Okay, ready. Right, here we go. George! But you didn't even try! Because it was a mile wide, that's why. It's no good standing there like a statue, Hannah. No, she's right, it was wide. Bowl me a legal one and I'll take a swing at it. You need to try a much slower delivery. What's the point of playing cricket if you're scared of the ball? George, that's enough. I'm just giving her a bit of practice responding to Sledgy. No. Darrington are always lippy on the pitch. Skipper's been very clear. Team policy is to ignore anything like that. We let the cricket do the talking, all right? All right, George? Yeah, all right. You do not retaliate, even if they're having a prod at you. And you definitely don't start in with the verbals yourself. Oh. Oh. Okay, you ready? This will be the last one, Georgie boy. Okay. Let's make it a good one, all right, George? Oh, right. Oh. Oh. Shot. Perfect, George. Oh, that would have been a four past eight for color for sure. Ah, Thanks. Okay, okay, everyone. Everyone. Quiet. Great. Okay, so. That's it for tonight. You've all worked really, really hard and the teamwork's coming on a treat. So it's just uh, just what we like to see. So well done, everyone, and uh, see you Sunday. Great batting. Oh, ta, Hannah. And uh, your bowling's, well, yeah, not bad either. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho, looking good for Sunday. <laughs> hey, I think Darrington are in for a tough time. I reckon you're right. <laughs> That was a good practice. Yeah, I enjoyed it, Chris. Especially after you had that word with George. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, don't worry about that. He just needs cutting down to size occasionally. <laughs> and I'm ever so grateful for that one-to-one -one coaching the other week. No sweat. Your leg breaks are coming on really well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'd like to say thank you. Oh, no need. No, but what I mean, I'd, I'd like to get to know you a bit better. As a person, I mean, not just a cricketer. Oh. Um, so maybe we could, I don't know, have a drink sometime? Uh, no. I mean, it's not that I don't... You know, it's just with, with um, work and Martha and stuff. No, and no, of I, course. I'm pretty busy, so... Yeah, I get it. I, I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine, really. Just forget I said anything. Spot effects on the arches. I just, uh, yeah, any Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay, and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish it was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever.